What's up guys, Avatar Man Z here and I want to show you just Windows 8 in general because I'm I don't know if you guys watched but uh watch my two part Windows 8 rant video um about me trying to install Windows 8 and then a rant on it afterwards because it didn't install correctly. Um for those of you who don't know, just a summary of those two videos so you don't have to watch them if you don't want to. But uh I basically tried to install it and I got into some kind of error that like the Windows Store wouldn't show up and like I don't know I couldn't install it so I downloaded the ISO file for it I burned it to a disk and installed Windows 8 as a new operating system just cleaned out my hard drive and whatever so uh, I just want to show you guys just a little showcase for Windows 8.1 because I do have a Windows 8 showcase video but Windows 8.1 is a little different so I'll show you guys some cool new features for that uh, briefly. So for now, I'm sure you guys can tell that down here there is a start button. I like how it just does this little like window effect when it goes across. Um, but you just click that and it just goes away into the uh, Metro interface with all your tiles and stuff. So yeah, it doesn't actually have a start button like, uh, I don't know, like Windows 7 users would want. And most Windows 8 users as well. Uh, but I think it's kind of cool, I guess. I don't really care. I mean, sure, I have... I mean, it's the same thing. You just go in the corner, and it just... You click it. I mean, it's easier than just having to go past. Like, if you go past on Windows 7, if you go past the start button into the corner, it won't click. So, I mean, I don't know. Um, so let's see here. If you open up, like, any app, uh, I'll go into... Uh, what should I go into right now? Uh, I'll try Wikipedia just to be safe. I was going to use Skype, but I don't want to give out any other of my contact information. But if you go into the sidebar here, uh, I forget what it's called. I think it's called the... I have no idea. I think it's just... I call it this Windows 8 sidebar. Um, and you go into the settings, you go into your Wikipedia settings right away. Uh, so it's about, you know, privacy policy. I'm sure you can click on that. Yeah, and it'll open up. Um, but if we go back into it and go into settings, you can see the permissions. So it has permission to use, uh, rate and review. So it'll open up this. I think it's pretty cool. Um, you can drag it, obviously, as you guys know. Um, sure. I have no idea what, oh, that's a store. Um, but then let's say we want to open up the people app and then open up like mail. Don't worry, I have nothing personal. I don't. I think I just logged into a. Uh, I don't know, some kind of. I don't even know. Uh, what is it? Non Microsoft account on here until just now. Uh, so I was doing some stuff on here. Well, let's say I open up the mail app and then I have it open, right? I can drag it to the right and then you know open up something else. Have like my desktop, and then I can also open up the people app and display it in the middle. I can also move it to the left or the right. So you can have up to three windows open at once and you can have it like that, or well, like this before. Um, I think you can actually make it smaller, yeah, just by a little bit if you want to make it. And then you can make that halfway, I'm sure. Oh wow, I didn't know. I thought you could like, I thought it would just snap versus I get the snapping thing from the beginning, but I'm learning stuff as we go guys too, alright? So, like, it seems like anywhere in the middle you can snap it, or you can snap it to this edge, or that edge, and then have it on, like, anywhere there. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. Um, that's pretty sweet how it, like, goes to the sides, I guess. But, yeah, you can have up to three apps, or three apps open up at a time. But, one thing that I do want to talk about, though, is I have Google open up. If you're in an app, I hate how there's this blue space because, or whatever color, I don't, I think it changes color, but I think I'm on blue right now, I have no idea, but it changes up, like why can't you just have a full screen app or automatically open up the apps that you have or the metro interface because, you know, that'd be pretty sweet if you could have your apps open, like your tiles in that space so that you can click stuff right away. Obviously if you close an app, then, like, you know, open that up right away. It's not gonna, you know, I, I just think it's stupid that they have to have the space there. They can't just be smart about it. 
and you have to like drag it all the way over. But uh, let's see what else. Oh yeah, customization. If you go into the start, or whoops, sorry, not that. And settings, you can just click Control Panel. I never do. I never do that actually. I just always go here, and if you right click, you'll get all this stuff here. I just go to Control Panel. Uh, let's go to settings. Then you can personalize personalization. That's just you know your basic personalization versus right click on your desktop and click personalize. Which again, I ne I never do the sidebar version. Uh, PC info that I just go to control panel and system. I suppose this would be a lot easier because uh, it's a direct link. But uh, also help. Uh, help and support center again. I control panel, help and support. Uh, change PC settings now. This is a lot better, I think, than the original Windows 8 point or 8 uh, settings thing. Uh, it just shows you can. I don't know. Just, I like this uh, like sidebar, I guess, because if you go into one of these, it's a little tricky at first. Because let's say I go into PC and devices. Now look, all these things display, like change display in the side, but it's very subtle because there's no transition like on the right hand side, which takes up a lot more space, which you're automatically going to look at. So it's like you look over there, and then you're like, oh wait, what the heck? I'm not the same stuff before. So it's like once you get used to it, it's pretty nice though because you go into the subcategory, then lock screen, and then it goes into the menu and display, and you can just switch between the subcategories. So, yeah, so you can just do my system information real quick, and like accounts, just, you know, basic stuff. I don't use SkyDrive, but, yeah, I like just all this, I don't know, basic stuff like file history and recovery and whatnot. That's pretty cool. Uh, I wish that, oh yeah, we can talk about this arrow here. Um, you know, instead of just having to like right click and then click all apps before there's an all apps thing down here, you can just click this little arrow and you open up all your apps. Now you can go like this. Also in the apps thing, I don't think you could do that before. And then just sort, go straight to F. And but it, I'd only have I only have so many apps, so I'd think that I would think, or you would think that I would just go straight to the F section and like move over, but. Look how much scrolling I have to do. Like these are all my apps, and then these are my files. So, uh, also another thing, as you guys saw, customize. You just right click anywhere, um, or you can just click on a tile and customize it. Um, I'm sure as you guys can tell already. Uh, I'm trying not to get too sidetracked here. Now that I'm learning more things to talk about, if you just right click on a tile, or just uh, yeah, just right click on a tile. You have these bars at the top. If you open up another column for or another section, column, whatever. You can call it whatever you want, like everyday use, like just my everyday apps that I use pretty much every day. Then my regular apps I don't use every day, like Netflix and whatnot, and my games, and then I'll have like utilities over here, but I usually just go into the settings and whatnot. So then you just click, it's a little more complicated because you have to left click in certain places, like if I right click now, I click out, but you're still in this, so you're not selected on the tile, but you're still in this menu, so you have to click again to get out of it, which is pretty weird because you can't, like, unclick, and then click on another thing, because then if you left click, you just select tiles. So if you click another tile, it unchecks and checks them, so you got to check outside the box, or outside the tiles. Uh, you can also, you know, minimize this in case you have, like, 50 billion, I don't even know, t uh, columns and categories and stuff. But I can't imagine like how this being scrollable because that'd be just a lot of stuff for you know everything. Um, but that's pretty much it. I just want to double check to make sure and just go around. Uh, I just want to see. There's. Um, I don't know why this went. Like I hit the Windows key to go back. Usually, if you're on the desktop and you hit the Windows thing go back in, but I think if you hit the Windows key, it'll go back into the last app that you were in. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. I guess it makes sense that you can switch between Windows, but if I have, let's say, you know, PC settings and desktop, let's start with the mail. Yeah, it just opens up, switches between the Metro interface and the 
last app that was open. That's kind of annoying, I guess, although I'm not sure just how the desktop opens. But again, that would be the last thing I had open. So, um, that's pretty much it, guys. I'll uh, probably just, I don't know, I'll probably just come up with like some other video title soon or something because I have my webcam in a new place this time. You guys can probably tell instead of me looking down or up, sorry. Like normal, I'll have it on my desk, but I positioned it on top of my monitor so you guys can hopefully see I'm not looking, I'm looking more straight at the camera. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up, you know, all that. So, see you guys.